Iconic figures are more than simply individuals that we all recognize. The most important thing to recognize, in fact, is that they're symbols that have deep meaning. But that deep meaning is often the result of what we project onto them. Tupac's story is, I think, a lot more important than is often recognized. His iconic stature accelerated dramatically after his death in 1996. So what we see in the case of Tupac is a kind of mystique around him. Of course, there was many theories about him still being alive, that he didn't actually die in 1996. There was a kind of disbelief amongst many listeners around the world. But that's because already Tupac had begun to embody this idea of resilience, of not just defiance of authority, defiance of the power structures uh, of American society, but also the ability to persevere extreme circumstances and overcome them. And I think that that was a profound message that, um, that gained listeners, gained a wider and wider audience, particularly as hip hop became a vehicle for critique in many parts of the world. That's what he narrated in his music, uh, and it's also what he lived in his personal life. But the other thing to remember about Tupac is that during his life, he was vilified by the media, by politicians, what we've seen in the years after his death is a different Tupac emerging in the popular imagination. His social critique, his critique of racism, of inequality in American society, he's been resurrected, but he's been resurrected in ways that acknowledge a different part of his canon than what was often the focus of critiques during his lifetime.